Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Vistaro Photography and welcome to another episode of Street Photo Diary. So today I'm doing something a little different and I'm shooting on film and I am shooting with this which is a Yashica FXD. Now funny story this was actually my very first ever camera. Um, not literally this one um, but the exact same model. Um, it was a hand-me-down from my sister and uh, that's how I got started in photography. So the original one I had fell apart well, many years ago. Good. 15 20 years ago and uh, I bought this on eBay it's fully manual and um, there is actually auto exposure on it but I never actually use it um, and I actually really like this the lens on it is really good there's a really nice quality to it but I don't really shoot with it that much anymore because mainly because film is actually quite expensive here in Ireland and it's very expensive to get processed depending on where you get it done um, some rolls are cheaper than others and some processing is cheaper than others but then some processing is crap so <laughs> I tend to go with some of the better places but yeah so we're going to try shooting with this today and see how we get on um, one of the things I've had a little bit of problems with it recently in that uh, the shutter get kept getting stuck on me and it was stuck wide open so uh, I'm hoping that won't happen today but we'll see how we get on. Um, I, as I don't shoot film that much, I have no idea if these are gonna come out or not, but fingers crossed. Um, yeah, if you're seeing this, then everything worked out, woohoo. Okay, let's get going. So one of the things I like about this camera is there's a lovely, really big, clear viewfinder in it and it makes framing your subject really, really nice uh, and it's a pleasure to shoot with. Um, for exposure, there is a little meter inside. Um, you can see it in the viewfinder. You, give, you get two kind of red LED dots and as you adjust either the aperture or the shutter speed, uh, the dots move up and down. So basically to get your exposure right, you just line up the dots. Um, and that's about it really, it's it's pretty straightforward to shoot with. Um, I'm used, to, I've gotten that used to digital now where you can instantly see what's going on and adjust much quicker. Whereas this, you slow down and think a lot differently. Normally I would have gone through oh, probably 40 or 50 shots by now and yet I've, I'm only at about 24. Um, the roll is 36 so I have another few shots left to get. Uh, I'm still having problems with the camera locking up on me. So what seems to happen is the shutter locks open and I actually think it's something to do with the lens because if you remove the lens it fixes itself. Um, so it may be certain apertures on the lens aren't working or something but yeah so far so good and see how we get on with the rest of the day shooting. Okay back to it. Thank you. 
So somebody left a comment on one of my videos recently that what I was taking was mostly just kind of tourists and stuff and it wasn't quote unquote real street photography. Um, but there's actually a reason for that. You see, uh, I first moved to this city, Dublin, um, 20 years ago and it was a completely different from place. It was a much poorer city and you know, people were struggling and we kind of grew out of that. There came the Celtic Tiger and then there was a recession, but now Dublin has become a, a tourist attraction and that kind of, that's pissed some people off. Some people don't like that the city has become that, but that is what the city is now. And I'm always reading that street photography is supposed to tell a story. Well, that's the thing. That is the story of Dublin at the moment. Dublin is tourism. Um, and I'm fascinated having come from, you know, a fairly monoculture, cultural society into what is now an extremely multicultural society with lots of people coming to Dublin and Ireland. And that is the story that I am trying to tell with my street photography. You know, obviously it's not the only story of Dublin. There's lots of different stories here, but I've always been fascinated by the fact that people have a certain view of Ireland and that's not the case at all. It is, as I said, it's a multicultural city. It's a city that lots of people come to see and that's the story that I'm trying to tell. So that's pretty much it for this episode of Street Photo Diary. If you're actually seeing this and this made it to YouTube, it's a bleeding miracle at this point because just about everything that could possibly go wrong went wrong. Uh, the camera locked up on me a couple of times. There's definitely something wrong with it. And on top of that, because I haven't used it in so long, when I went to rewind the film, I accidentally opened the back. Um, it only opened for a split second, and I hope the pictures aren't too ruined. Um, and if it did, it, it should have only ruined the last one or two. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> didn't have a good day shooting, but you know, see the bright side, valuable lessons learned, and I won't do that again. Thank you for watching, I hope you have found this enjoyable, and if you have, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you want to help support this channel, check out my Patreon feed, the link will be in the description below. And once again, thanks for watching, see you next time.